Hi guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com and I'm here weekly with new videos on psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. And this week is a psychic one and it's a topic a lot of us are intrigued by, which is predicting the future. But before I get into it, if you like this subject, come on over and subscribe because it would be so great to see you here. Now, it's becoming more and more evident and apparent in the psychic realm that the future really isn't always set in stone, but sometimes it is, which is so confusing and complicated. But I've noticed, and I've made videos about this, this fate and destiny, it's a thing. There is something greater than us running the show. We're not 100% running things. As much as the manifesting teachers would like us to think, we do not have complete control. So yes, there are elements of fate, things that are going to happen. And then there's the other aspect of how we are living our lives and what we are doing to make things happen. So we do have power over certain things. So when it comes to predicting the future, the hard part is understanding and learning and knowing what is set in stone and what is mutable and changeable, like where you have the flexibility and the room to create what you want. But all that aside, going to someone and or using your own psychic abilities, which is what I want you to be doing. This is what the whole channel really is about helping you to activate and tap into your natural innate psychic abilities. Um, when you get too much into future work, like when is he coming or she, when, you know, the, the person, I don't want to say, or, you know, whatever, the partner, um, we, you know, when am I going to get this job or when am I going to have this move? It's like dwelling too much on the future and waiting for a prediction to come true doesn't really help much because ultimately we are meant to be living in the present moment. And that's where mindfulness is such a beautiful teaching because all we can really affect is where we are in the here and now and, and that's it. And, and if the future is so, you know, if it is what it's going to happen, um, being here now and doing the best we can now is the healthiest way to function because what, what I've noticed with people and in times with myself in doing my own divination on my life path, you, you can get hooked on something like and stuck on it. Okay, it's like, so, so this, so, so what about this? And when is this? And blah, 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 you know what I mean? And it's going to happen when it's going to happen. And it likely is going to happen. I mean, we're living in a world of change, but being out there in the future isn't where you're doing your best. You're doing your best now and here and focusing on what your life is at this very given moment. So I'm not saying it's, it's human nature to be curious, right? What I'm saying here, I think, is to like get the information, keep it, but try not to harp on it. Try not to think about it like as... 24 7 or, you know try to just if you really want to you may take it out and think about it like once in a while but really focus on doing the best you can do right now and so that's where predicting things it, it can it can kind of be troubling you know um not that we're trouble we're predicting troublesome things but you can also get something fixated in your mind that it has to be like this but you know, that's another thing where fate and destiny will come and shake you all around because you'll find out that nothing is as it seemed and that's the beauty of life. And um, I'm being a little abstract here, but here's an example. Let's say you're really adamant that this is the person you're gonna be with. Like you have an idea of what that person is. You, you, you know, you've gotten these predictions on, on, on everything and you're, you're pretty like, pretty much sure and you're thinking about it a whole lot and you're doing your life and everything and you're doing what you need to do to draw it in or maybe don't need to do anything maybe it's just going to happen but then when it does it's not the person that you had in mind it's like completely different that's how the universe will surprise you 
it'll be wonderful and good. And that's another thing to think too. It's like, usually it's, you're going to be okay. Even if like terrible things happen in the end, you're okay. You know? Um, and that's again, a, a thing that I feel like the mindfulness practice of being here in the present moment, focusing on, exactly on where you are being really centered and grounded i'm trying to do that right now you know um working on my grounding and everything that's where we are our most powerful and that's where we want to be that's the best place to be so i think i've made my point i would love to hear from you before i go have you had predictions have you gotten predictions psychic predictions that came true have you predicted something for yourself that came true? Have you had predictions that didn't turn out exactly the way you thought? Um, I just thought of something else I really want to say, which is so funny, but um, I'll just say it really quickly. I saw the guy that my friend is engaged to maybe 15 years ago. Yeah, it took 15 years for him to come. So imagine like waiting for that future outcome, right? Um, but when he did, she was really happy. And it was funny because some of the descriptions of what he would like um, were totally true. But how funny is that, like a 15 year out thing? But anyway, if you wanna learn more about being psychic, which I want you to do, come to krishanti.com. First of all, there's free stuff for you to check out. And then I've got amazing workshops and courses and meditations all to help you on your path. So check out krishanti.com. Thank you for being here, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.